Mrs. Kreider's here to see you. Well, send her in. Do you need anything? No, no, nothing, thank you. What a pleasant surprise, darling. You had no right to see my daddy without telling me. What? You heard me. Well, I hope I didn't hear what I thought I heard. You damn well did. Well, then what are you doing here, darling? I mean, do I look and walk and talk like Wilson? Because if you're confusing me with that wimp, I don't think we got anything to talk about. J.R., I don't confuse you with Wilson. Now, if you want the kind of man that runs to you before he makes any business decisions, I think you better look for somebody else. It wasn't just any business deal. You went to see my daddy, and he's too sick for this. Well, if I decide to go against your daddy for control of West Star, that's between him and me. Now, he may be sick, but he knows how to fight. And he doesn't need any protection from you, I guarantee it. Well, maybe, J.R., I'm the one that needs the protection. If you manage to gain control over Westar without me, will you still want me? Kimberly, how can you think like that? I told you before, what we have between us no longer has anything to do with Westar. Win, lose, or draw, darling. You and I are going to be together because you are the most exciting woman I've ever met in my life. JR. Why don't you take the day off and come play with me? I'd love to, but I can't. Bobby's in a lot of trouble. I got to help him any way I can. And that comes before anything. I don't believe that anything comes before your fight for West Star. about me, do you?